The viral sensation Savannah Bananas are in Jacksonville this weekend to play two rounds of their viral brand of banana ball. Both games are already sold out. News Redax reporter Alicia Hatcher got the good assignment tonight and the chance to catch tonight's game and now joins us from outside the ballpark. Alicia, this is Bananas first time playing in Jacksonville. It is Scott and it is a part of their 2023 Banana Ball World Tour and we were their third stop and I think they have the chance to see some Duval spirit. Go Bananas! This is not your typical professional baseball team. Thousands of people flooded financial ballpark to watch the Savannah Bananas for the first time in Jacksonville. What can fans expect this weekend? I would just say don't blink. If you blink, you're going to miss something. There's a lot to expect. It's going to be one heck of a show. I mean, we got good baseball, dancing, probably a little bit of singing tonight, too. Families, Little League teams, and others had the chance to experience fun and entertainment the entire evening. Three, two, one. From flying bananas to dancing nanas, and even a player playing on stilts. Players even taught me how to properly swing a bat. I'm a friend of my form, so you gotta, you gotta tell me, you know, what, what you thought. Let's okay. see how this goes. Ready? All right, all right. So hands down together like that, yeah. And the great Tyler Gillum once told me, fast is quick, but if you're too quick, you can't hit. Okay. So you just gotta be nice and smooth with it. Ready? So nice, take a little step, and then we're gonna be smooth with the bat. Now you know every sports has its rules. But the bananas rules are quite different from your normal professional baseball team. No bunting. If it's a pass ball, no matter what count, you can run to first. Every inning counts. It's going to be fun! Here at the Financial Ballpark tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Those tickets are unfortunately sold out, but those who are attending can park in lots P and J. But for now, reporting live downtown, Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.